The Master Acting Class with Maggie Flanagan is a small and selective scene study class at the Maggie Flanagan Studio. In this video, Tara Westwood talks about what it was like to work with Maggie in a small class. I took the master class with Maggie because I had done the two-year program with her and that's the very, for me, I feel the base of what you need. You know, I, I, there's never a time where I'm ever going to say, I don't need class anymore. I'm a good enough actor. Never. Th that sentence is just never going to come out of my mouth regardless of the work or the caliber of work that I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm not a series lead on a show yet, so I, I I'm not working five days a week and I want to. You have to do something every single day. So the moment I hear that there's a master class and I can be working with Maggie, it's an opportunity I will never not want to do because the caliber of work that you do in class is higher than pretty much any play or TV set or film set that you're going to be on because it's not often that you get to work on people like Tennessee Williams or Arthur Miller or Chanley or Gerges or you know all of the playwrights that she insists that you work on. It's not very often that that level of writing is something that you get to chew on. And then to be able to have her guiding you and calling you on your stuff and directing you is just, you know, you show up on set typically on a TV set or a low budget film and okay, we've got one take. Or the director might be like, great, put the pillow down and then walk over. But you're not, you know, you gotta show up and be ready for your work because that's why they hired you. So there's not a lot of direction on set and obviously on some films. I'm sure if someone works with Martin Scorsese, <laughs> everyone wants to, I'm sure there's direction on that set. But most sets I find there's not a lot of direction. So not only does working with Maggie help me prepare to be the actor that I have to be as a professional working actor once I get a job, but it also improves who I am as an actor because, you know, the process that she puts you through, though hard at times, is, is really necessary to get the work done. And how important was it that the class was small? It was hugely important. You know, I, I also think that, you know, coaching is important for a specific job so there's that aspect where you could have it just one-on-one -on -one, and that's great but i also don't want 40 people in a class because then that's just too much but the small class with maggie is great because you still get to see other actors do their work but she gets to know you well enough that she can help you you know i mean every single person in that class is a better actor when they leave because they've had enough time. If, you know, I hear about people that go to other studios and, and they maybe work that week or they maybe don't work that week. And that, I, I don't want to take a master class or any class where I may not work. Now, you may not work in Maggie's class for more than a minute if you haven't done your work and you show up and you're not doing what you should do. What are you doing? What are you doing? You might get stopped and you know, told to come back the following week better prepared but you'll always work and you'll, she'll take the time to get you to that next level and she couldn't do that if there were 50 people in it. What was it like to work closely with Maggie in class? Oh gosh, Maggie is a, is a pillar in my life, you know, far beyond just my acting teacher. Um, she is someone that has, has made me a better actor and then because of how much I love acting which is more than anything in my life anything other than the people that I love and my children of course <laughs> but that's aside there's literally nothing that I love more than acting and it is the most important thing in my life I would I would I would this sounds dramatic but I would want to die if I couldn't act so for me the fact that she can help me with something that I have such an absolute love for is, is even beyond what it's done for my career. You know, I leave class and I'm like, oh, oh I'm just on fire. You know, I mean, my, my kids can practically tell when I've come home from class because there's a sparkle in my eye and there's a, you know, they're, oh, I'm ready to go. Or I might seem the opposite where I'm like worn down, but in a good way. And then I want to fight through it. You know, it makes me a better actor. And because of how much I love it, it fulfills me in ways that literally nothing else does. And what did you find difficult about the class? 
<laughs> Everything that's difficult about class is the same thing that, that I love about it. She pushes you, you know, she, she brings you down to the basics of what maybe you learned, hopefully you learned prior to the master class, but we as actors forget, you know, the simple questions that we should be asking ourselves when we're working on a script or um, maybe it's a character that you normally couldn't work on, which is, you know, there, that's something I've loved about Masterclass. So to be able to do that with her has been a wonderful thing for me. And um, I forget which question I was answering right now. <laughs> well, what did you find difficult about? Yes, class? difficult about class, though, is just that. I mean, what's great about it and what's difficult about it is that you work on these characters that you normally couldn't get. So you get to push yourself. Um, and she will do that in a way, though, that you feel safe. You know, I mean, I've done characters in class that I know I'm not going to get cast as outside of the studio, but I love the writing. And with her, I want to be able to do it because I know that she'll push me and push me and push me at least to where I'm doing well with it, but she makes it safe. So I don't feel like, okay, if I completely suck, um, you know, if you're afraid to make a choice because of the consequences or how you're going to look or whatever, you, you're, you're going to get paralyzed, but she makes you feel safe to do so. And yet pushes you in a way that you're not going to get outside of the studio. And how has taking this class helped you get back on the course with your career? Oh gosh, I just wish I could take it every day. You know, it's the level of work that you get to do in class. Again, you just don't really experience it outside of the studio. You know, when I meet working actors or people that have maybe finished the two-year program and other actors and, and they think that they're done, are you? Are you done? Because unless you're willing to do something for your craft and for your work every single day, I think, I think you're going to naturally slide back. You know, when I hear actors say that they don't need any more training, immediately I think, I don't really want to work with this person and they're just wrong. You know, I mean, maybe it's different. Yes. If you're on a series and you're a series lead or you're, I'm not going to tell Daniel Day Lewis, he should really get to the studio, but everyone in between should be in a master class because you have to keep improving and you have to be reminded, you know, Maggie will remind you of the basic foundation that you need to be a good actor that we lose. You know, we do, we forget it. We get off track. And then I come to class and I'm like, Oh yeah, if I'd have asked myself that question on that last job, that would have been a better thing for my reel. So I need to come back to be reminded often of the basics that I should never forget and uh, to be pushed, you know, she's going to push me in a way that you don't get pushed outside of here a lot. And if you do, you get flatlined because you just, you know, that's why I think people don't, that's why people that I know, I know a few people that are really talented that got out of the business. And one of them I said, I actually last week too, I think if you'd have gone back to master class, you maybe wouldn't have given up. And he was like, why did, why do you say that? And I said, because you didn't have, it fulfilled in you that you could still do this and you didn't get better. You didn't get better. You, you, he flatlined. He, I'm not saying his name, so it's okay. He, he got to a place where he kind of flatlined. So his career didn't move forward and that killed him. And he just said, uh, that's it. I'm out. I'm done. No, that's when I, you know, I remember I did a movie, my first ever movie. I, I immediately said to my agent, I'm, that's it. No more auditions. I got to go to master class. I got to, I got to go back to class because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And I knew enough that I got a feature film, but that was it. Same with the first time I showed up on a TV set. I was like, Oh, you know, you got to show up so well prepared because they're not going to often have time to direct you. And you're working with people that are working actors. So what you learn in the master class is what you need to be able to function as a working actor. For more information about the master class with Maggie Flanagan, contact the studio directly by calling 917-789-1599.